Hey, hey, all you hip, cool, beautiful cats. Yo. My name is Kit, and this is the wonderful, incredible Kira. Hello. She's in the house. And I by am the, in the house. And by the way. <gasps> Zoink, look at those graphics. Ooh. They pop up right in the middle of the air. What? There right in the go. middle of the air. That's right. And if you don't got it, get it. And if you don't get it, go, go figure, figure it, it out. out. That's right. That's right. That's how it's done all the time here. So. <laughs> Uh, as always, Constantly. As, as always, we're so grateful and thankful that all of you are so faithful. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But Kira, do you want to know what's really awesome? What is really awesome? Well, I'm going to push this button again one more time because it's awesome. Whoa, it is awesome. But number two, when these videos come out, did you know that we're also live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Are you sure about that, Kit? Yeah, You're not lying to the people. No, no, but we are live on Twitch and live us, <laughs> we're and, live on Twitch for sure. Yeah, and uh, we will actually. We some of us have moved our schedules now to. 12 I know PM, that's why I'm wondering. To 12 p.m. I know you're you're still live at 9 a.m. I think, uh, yeah, so. just for the next few weeks. Just for the next few weeks. So Saturday, folks. Hey, hey, I still have to finish the game stray with the little Kit Kat. The little kitten. Oh yeah, the cat. I knew I had started another game. I couldn't remember what it was. I need to write shit down. Yes. And then I also, don't remember also, what also I'm shout doing. out to my Project Zomboid people, but they're not here to listen to us talk. They're listening to us react to a video and none other than we're going to bring the great humanitarian, compassion individual, a purveyor of justice and social work, <laughs> someone who cares for his fellow man. I realize that my chair is. Yeah, so, I know. That's what I'm thinking too. Is your chair going to be able to? Puff itself up. There we go. I'm totally puffed Because I'm getting like totally covered by it. Okay, so I'm a little puffed up now. <laughs> there we this go. This is why we need a new This is why we need a new desk. All right, I don't know how to get myself here, here, taller. Here, here. I got you. I got you. Stand up for a second. All right, there standing. There you go. Okay. There we go. All That's, right. I guess it's better. It's not that great. Sorry, guys. Not, not good. Well, it'll, it'll be better for the next one. Yeah, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. So, with that being said, let's talk about this great humanitarian of justice, social work, <laughs> Sessine Tad. Just stop. Dare I say it? He's, <laughs> he's a hero in my book. Yeah, whatever. So there we go. Let's play uh, this uh, video. People, Seth here. Here's our topic of a day. Inflation. Inflation is a global topic. Some of the most powerful people on this planet are the same people responsible for the most inflation. Coincidence? I think not. You might think it's just a way of printing liquidity for short-term gain and no consequence. Because, after all, everything is tethered to the dollar since we abolished the Bretton Woods system in 1971. So, even if you're holding pounds, euros, or yen, it doesn't matter. Because you're equally screwed. Our hyperinflation is your hyperinflation. Enjoy. In conclusion, the Federal Reserve is run by hyperinflation fetishists. Oh. Hyperinflation. Oh, jeez. I don't even know what I would do if I saw somebody like that. Not, not kink shaming or anything. I mean, if that makes somebody happy. I mean, then, what is that? Uh, I think it's somebody in a very big inflatable suit. And some okay. people might. Uh, why are we? Why are, I mean, I know that he's making a joke about fetishes, but why are you assuming that suit is being used in a sexual manner? It just, it just doesn't look like. It does it look <laughs> sexy to you? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but somebody might. Somebody might. And this is a. Family. I mean, different strokes, different folks, yeah, man. Yeah, this is, this I is, think this, whatever. If you're this, into it, this is this is a uh, family friendly channel. <laughs> but here's the thing: they're not that. doing it for money. They're doing it because what of is purpose. okay? So that maybe looks sexual. Be... See, I told you. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, that maybe looks a little. Is he jerking off? I I. I don't know who is doing what in there, but <laughs> but it's obviously something. We clearly have no idea what is going on in this video here. Uh, 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 hey, hold on. Other than hyperinflation. Type clearly. in the comment section below what's happening here. Here we go. Extremely, extremely hot. Now, let's talk about something completely unrelated. Tribal Hunter is a completely innocent game where you play as an Anfro lizard who is sent to guard over the land. You fight, you protect the innocent. You uh, consume your enemies by uh, ventilating them directly into your mouth. Yes. <laughs> and it's really funny because if you eat too much, he gets large. <laughs> oh God, imagine that. <laughs> and what if he ate even more and got even larger? <laughs> Well, that would be crazy, but don't that eat would too be much, crazy. You're gonna or pop. You. This is an allegory Wait. for your blood vessels, which are going to pop if you keep going down this road. Because soon enough, 
The only way you can keep going down this road is in a motorized mobility scooter. Answer me this, what will you do when Elon Musk turns off the Tesla battery in the middle of the woods? That's right, you're going to be kissed to death by a, a pack of nanny dogs who just broke out of a local nursery. <laughs> and guess what? Breakfast was free infants ago. You're the oh main course. Think about that. So, you know what, what, what was pretty funny is I saw a person at one of the stores I shop. He was driving one of those carts, but it was customized. It was like bright red shiny and it had big boombox speakers on it. Oh, wow. And he was driving in the store listening to like all sorts of like classic rock, you know, like. Was it really loud? And yes. Like, yes. It was like imposing on everybody. Kind of. Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah. Think, it's, I think it's really like, I don't know. I think it's we. I I don't I don't think I find it annoying that mm -hmm. people do that. I think it's strange because I, I, I feel like I'm imposing on people constantly, and and so to like blare my music that loud, I would just feel like a complete imposition. I'd just be like, I, sorry, 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 sorry. All I know is is when I when I saw it, I was like it, it was like a customized scooter, and I was just like You're in the grocery I'm store. Such a dick. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> he's imposing. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I mean, look, look, hey, look, to each their own, because I was buying, I was buying yeah, some. It I, doesn't I was, really like I was bother some, me. But yeah, yeah, but I was buying some steaks and sweet potato, you know, because yeah. I, because I wanted to eat good, because I was here at the studio a little bit late, and I wanted <laughs> to make myself a nice dinner, and uh, I, I saw this dude he's driving the scooter. I'm like, the music's loud. I mean, this thing looks so custom. Like the rims were spinning too. Wow. I know. I know. I was like, it was like, damn. It was, Pretty nice wheel, but yeah, traveling in style. Yeah. Traveling in style. That next time you're engorging yourself like the hungry, hungry caterpillar that you we are. have that this book at home. Plays like a brawler. What does tiny person think of the hungry, hungry caterpillar? It used to be her favorite book, but now it's nowhere near her. No, it's, it's like it's like yeah, 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 like come on, like, 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 like come on, come on, guys, come on. Like yeah. former Metroidvania. It's like the old Metroids if yeah. Samus was or could become heavily pregnant. And this grants Ooh. her gameplay advantages. It's much the same way. When you're small, you're very quick, you're very nimble, and you can platform really easily. When you're large, you hit like a truck. Your damage, your animation, say, but you gotta your have stomach. they all scale with your stomach content. <laughs> However, you become both vertically and horizontally challenged when each footstep is the equivalent of a quake in Asia. Jumping is the least of your concern this might not be politically so in other words he is a nice dick a nice dick yeah hold on wait hold on wait, here, here, wait, 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 wait. oh yeah i wasn't even looking at the screen where we can see ourselves because oh, i was looking at that nice <laughs> correct to say but there's no way to sugarcoat it without uh, making you even larger. You're a fat fuck. So how do we shed those <laughs> pounds? Well, you sit down and you metabolize your food in a matter of seconds. When the morbidly obese blame it on metabolism, this is exactly what they mean. This is what they're competing <laughs> against. This goddamn lizard just metabolized, and I calculated this, this by the way, is an average slaughter size 250 pound hog. And uh, he ate three of those, which in a span of 15 seconds, he has digested completely. That's over half a million calories reabsorbed into his body. And still, we're asking stupid questions like, why can he breathe fire? Here's a question. Why wouldn't he? Sitting down quickly trades satiety for health. And it's your primary way of healing up between fights. It's actually genius design. Like, yeah, I like that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Messed him up, big boy. So how do you know when you need to sit down and get small again? I don't know, but I want to play this game now. You always want to play the games after I, we watch them. I always, but look, I, I, maybe, maybe, K Kira? What? Maybe I want to be a nice thick snack. Maybe, Kit, you already are a nice thick snack. You know, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Who, me? What? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. You're making a game and you get really happy when things get larger. That dopamine hits hard. Like So you want to eat disease. a lot to like, get points too, here? apparently, yeah, it's eh? Already half a screen, and the commission artist is just not Whoa. He's a vampire bat. I ate him. Spawning anymore. After the last <laughs> request, there's no sign of him. Their postal address leads us to a monastery in Middle England. But if we have to deflate and get smaller as part of a gameplay mechanic, just like free refills at a Denny's, we can get large 
over and over again. You get power-ups, you get stronger, and you get access to more levels. Naturally, yeah. the most common and relevant form of power-up is uh, increasing your stomach capacity. Now, you might Ooh. think, oh, my capacity just got 10 points higher. And like me, you might initially miss that firing of a neurons, that transmission of a synapse, where you realize, oh, oh, this, this isn't my final form. I can get larger and so there's this uh, strange drive pushing you forward where you're kind of morbidly fascinated because you see there's many forms of motivation and ours is to see how large damn Oh, some big, thick boys. Nah, those are some thick boys. Those are some thick boys. B O I. <laughs> Look at that guy's got get? crazy eyes on the end there. Why are we covering it? Why is it important? That's a very simple answer. First, they came for the furry inflationists, and I did not speak out, for I was not a furry inflationist. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out. That's why we defend them now, and we get on good terms so that during the upcoming political upheaval, they can return the favor and vore our enemies. Due to the nature of my work, I cover some really old and really niche games. Problem is, it's hard to get an original copy, so mm. I depend on friends and family to send me a working copy of uh -huh. Bad Rats 2, Punjabi pre cracked no virus. One of the most mm. stable ways to do this is torrenting, or as it's more commonly known, trying before buying. Trying. Unfortunately, my internet provider and the people who work there are the product of a brother and sister who loved each other a little too much, as oh. they cannot distinguish between illegal torrenting and me trying to download a legitimate copy of a game I already own. So they throttle my connection and my internet grinds to a halt. Thank you, <gasps> Verizon, for the opportunity to pay $89.99 monthly, all for the luxury of having no internet. Despite this, like a battered housewife, I insisted they're doing it because they love me. Then, about a month later... And by, and by the way, folks, this, this is a heads up. If you're in a toxic relationship, abusive relationship, leave it. Leave it. You know, I used... I, you know, we remember we used to have Comcast and they used to crap on us the whole time mm -hmm, at the studio? I do. I do. Crap bastards. Yeah. Sure, I received a Bye. cease and desist from Verizon telling me that I'm most definitely going to jail, giving me a list of racially motivated gangs I can choose to join once inside. I've never owned a paper shredder before, but I gotta tell you, it's strangely satisfying. That's it is. First it is. Letter. I have a paper shredder at the house. I love it. Uh huh. I yeah, love they it. are. They are pretty this fun week, to use. So I realized my internet provider really doesn't know what's best for me. So instead, I chose to install ExpressVPN. When I Ooh. run ExpressVPN, my internet traffic goes through a secure encrypted server. So my ISP can't throttle my download speed because they can't see what I'm doing, nor can they see the sites I visit when I when I'm working hard yeah. at my job and <laughs> have my mental illness to advertisers. It's incredibly easy to use. All I have to do is download the app, tap a single button, and just like that, I'm fully secured. And ExpressVPN does all this without slowing my connection. So stop mm. letting internet providers arbitrarily decide what you can and can't do with something. Now you have to get a VPN because now, 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 now everyone now knows you don't have a VPN. <laughs> now you got to get one. You get Nord or Express. Like our yeah. friend, the internet historian. Yeah. Remember the, the, Nord, the Nord guy? Yeah, the guy that looked like the clan member. No, he's an executioner, not a clan member. He looks like a clan member. No, it's executioner. He does look like a clan member. No. It's a white hood. Just happens to have logos on it. No. It's like he it's like he made his clan outfit out of like bed sheets that had a logo on it. Like design on it. <laughs> You pay good money for every month. Protect yourself. I can't believe nobody the caught that. Decisions of you know, when they were like who don't looking at the ad by using the and they were like, yeah, that that goes, that that flies, that Three checks years, out. And they never failed me once. How about Express that VPN. For an endorsement? Sign up now and you can get free months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com. All right, fine, I'll do it. Seth. Or clicking the link in the description box below. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Gameplay is pretty straightforward. You help out your 
local village by beating the shit out of everything and consuming their dead bodies. For an island guardian, you're actually quite terrifying, and the village itself is a really nice place. What a beautiful day on God's earth. Hmm, I wonder, what shall I do today? Work on myself? <laughs> Develop my skills? Care for my friends and family? I know, I'll spend my entire life online and become increasingly weird and isolated. Divorce <laughs> from reality. Self-esteem? <laughs> What's that? I like the little townspeople. They give you a sense of community and a purpose for why you're doing what you're doing. I also found out the flying mini game is a oh, wow. really good way to make Ooh. money. On the other hand, it's oh really difficult to oh explain to friends the nature of your anger. There's oh not many ways to say I popped like Icarus I flew I, too uh, close to the sun or in this case I flew too close to uh, one chicken dinner uh, too many and I have to repeat the entire stage you can play using a keyboard or controller but I wow wow there's nothing wrong with that what's what oh my goodness that's a lot of dirt a lot of dirt and yeah dust and I'd, I'd probably just go with a new one I strongly recommend a controller for your own <laughs> I never let my controllers get that bad. Comfort. Well, I hope not. I think the platforming oh. is incredibly difficult. I've had situations where I can clear the entire level, but I can't make a single jump to save my life. And then oh. I have oh. to repeatedly eat the same trap oh. until I die. You have two spells. Fire and egg. What do they do? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Fire is fire, and egg can make a cow forcibly pregnant. Not really mm. Well, I, I mean, he got in there. <laughs> That's deep. There you go. You got in there. You got one past the goalie. There what you, you go. to say about that? We know the rest. The milk industry, reptile eggs. Some would argue you can't have one without the other. You get extra skills and abilities by defeating bosses. So you toss to them an egg areas. and then you suck them up? Yep. You know, have, the, have, have, have that cow get preggers, I guess. Whoop. Music is pretty nice. It's like, did you put an egg in me? Whoop, whoop, whoop. You oh hear my the God. same tracks often, but they're not great. And then they get really sucked into attention. your belly. Some sounds are not balanced for the rest of the game. Each time I hit an armored pig, my speakers shake and my table travels. In town, you can buy items and I strongly recommend them. They can save your life or a trip back home, which can be quite a bit of backtracking. Thankfully, you unlock the ability to fast travel relatively early into the game. I actually love it because uh, the animation is based on your current weight. So if you're thin, you can tell it's a very pleasant ride. If you're not, well, it's clearly more of a. <laughs> That's hilarious! Look at that poor bird. Get <laughs> <laughs> me out of here! He's like, damn! I if I can take it, you fat no. boy! Get Who's your thick playing? ass off me! At some point, I realize you can intentionally get caught and bloated by slime plants, break free, spit out the slimes, kill them, and generate infinite XP. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I have to witness something unsettling each time I do this. So no, I don't think it's an exploit. It's an intentional form of torture. Everything you gain is outweighed by everything you lose. Namely, the ability to close your eyes ever again without that image burned into your skull. Enemies oh are varied God. and will harm you in one of two ways. One, they can kill you. Two, they can forcibly feed you until you explode. This is a similar experience to visiting grandma. The longer you stay, the higher your risk of cardiac arrest. She won't kill you out of hatred. She'll drown you in the pancake syrup river of love. Let's eat the pancakes. Have, have, have some more you want seconds? How about dirt? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We got to hear in the Minnesota voice. Oh, God. <laughs> Hang on, folks. The Minnesota voice is here I, in I, I have three, to... <laughs> two, one. Oh, can, can I get you some pancakes? <laughs> we'll get you some syrup on that. It'll be so good. <laughs> Line your tummy with warmth. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. Also, the death sequence for getting too full is arguably more difficult to swallow. Food is both your strength and weakness. You must constantly toe the line between obesity and death. They say video games are not the greatest medium. Look how awesome that trip is. Hey, man, can, can you take me to the other side of the island? Yeah, sure. Get on my stomach. I'll swim us over there. It reminds me of a scene out of All Dogs Go to Heaven, which I need to watch again. So All man, dogs I do go to heaven. I love that. Why should I worry? I don't Washington know if I remember that King. song. Yeah, it's in there. I, I remember the let's make music together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. And I think that that is, uh, that's the reason I thought thinking of that is that the scene where he's 
sitting on whatever that animal's belly is. Yeah, the crocodile. Is it, is it a crocodile? Yeah, yeah, it was a crocodile. It's some yeah. sort of reptile. Yeah, it was some kind um, of reptile. Boy, you know, that was that, 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 that was that was like sad in the end, like when he... Oh my God, yeah, that, that whole like, movie was horribly yeah, sad. Yeah, like the, do- the, the hell. The orphan girl, are the, the, you kidding me? The, 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 the hell scene, was, the hell scene. Would, would, oh, everything about that movie was gut-wrenching. Yeah. It was, very, it was a very sad movie. Yeah, that, that hell scene. I mean, oh my God. That's, that... Hey, folks. That's how you know they won't make animation films like that anymore because I got to tell you, like in today's audience, you, you can't get away with that anymore. Yeah, I yeah. got to rewatch that movie. It was a good movie. You know what's that other good one? Fern Gully. Fern Gully was good. Yeah, it starred yeah. Robin Williams in it. I have to, I'd have to watch that again, but yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I went and saw that on my birthday one year, I think. So. Yeah, I, 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 like, I like Batty. He was my favorite. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm Batty. <laughs> for storytelling but i disagree <laughs> when you see your obese lizard grappling the side a of a cliff his face says it all without Ooh, words he evokes one I singular not emotion feel good about Concern. this the enemy placement in this game is brutal forget those two archers in an orlando that will seem like a pleasant memory when you're getting stun locked by roast turkey you get xp pretty the feeding you until you explode you thing is just really like, uncomfortable hey hey you bastard Come here! I'm gonna feed you this quick it quality meat, me of, uh, and you die. You know where the where Glutton uh, they basically to kill that guy. I don't know if I remember the movie Seven Wait. very well. Oh, with Brad Pitt. Oh, what's in the box? 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 Oh God! That that, <laughs> that was that. Now that's a movie. Holy shit! <laughs> at any time. Many of these are locked until you get later into the game. I don't have any recommendations except uh, get healing on your punches because relying on digestion for health is okay, but you can't do magic on an empty stomach. And that's a shame because playing the game as a tactical egg artillery oh, oh, is objectively oh. the best experience. Oh, that's Imagine a bummer. Seeing something pouring from the sky and it's either going to kill you or make you pregnant. That's that's quite terrifying. That is terrifying. 100% terrifying. Yeah, I hate slimes. I really dislike them. That is all. Besides that, sometimes animations really don't look like they should affect you, but they do. Like, you can feel a hammer shockwave when you're not even on the same Yo. floor. It's a minor complaint, and they'll probably fix this. You know what? It's a furry developer. In all likelihood, they they will fix this, and they're currently taking notes. That's the difference. You want something done? Stop recruiting on LinkedIn. Go to Fur Affinity instead. Also, some of the controls can be awkward, but you can remap them. And also, you're just going to get used to it. Reverse critique. I really like the idle animations. That is all. In conclusion, I give Tribal Hunter a full out of belly. It was there for me Mm. during a Whoa! Wow. period of my life. Each time I made any money, I would flash my wads of cash outside my wallet and comically lose them to a strong gust of wind each time. Eventually, I was left with nothing. Just me and a small bag of crack. <laughs> hey, sounds like a party. That's right. Of I told you about the $800 me and uh, Mark found in the CVS yeah. parking lot, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what that made me think of. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. I also, I also want to say to quote the great Ace Vane, we're not saying do drugs all, all the, the time, time. saying do drugs some, some of the time. time. That way you're not a lame. That's right. That's right. Ace Vane. Check out his Ghostbusters uh, dub. There you go. I knew. I had to get. Now who wants to listen to my mixtape? Get my life together. So I smoked the whole bag, using them go. to outrun cars and siphon gasoline from their tanks, usually at the same time. I would describe the experience like using the devil trigger from Devil May Cry. I used high gasoline prices to in turn... Gas is still like five dollars in my area. I never get gas, so I have no idea. Which I used to call fueling my addiction. Fueling this joke to be very amusing. I would repeat it often to the same homeless man. I would hound for hours, running circles around him as he cried and wept. And here I am. He's like, get away from me! Please leave me alone for the love of God. For giving me my life back. Hey, sorry for stretching out the video, but I'm happy to inform you all that Tribal Hunter is now on GOG. Follow my GOG link at forward slash UNICEF for 15% off. For every dollar you spend, I will personally steal a liter of clean drinking water from the children that need it most. Forget. Yes, right. They don't need it. We need it. <laughs> Charities that make things better. I promise I'll make them worse. The developers told us they're really close to a 1.0 release. So even if you buy now, the game is going to leave early access in a couple of days. As always, more content to come. So stay tuned or don't. It's an open door Somebody policy. Pre- oh, a warm we got preggers. Eat them up. Eat them up. Funding and bankrolling these videos. 
you're all truly wonderful. Unless you're oh. mentally unstable. Oh, did he get eaten just by yeah. being like yeah. engulfed yeah. by a magical have a good one. dog? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, woof. Woof. What to say? Uh, first, uh, first and foremost, there's, there's, there's a big lesson to be learned from all this. Is there? Yes. Self-love is needed. Know your limitations. If you're feeling void and empty, sometimes filling your stomach with food isn't the answer, nor is any other. Addiction. And sometimes it is the answer. It really depends. It really depends. It really depends. If you and also, you know, rest and then exercise. Yes, right. Always. That's that's what yeah. we find yeah. with hey, this amazing. Uh, go 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 to Comfy Fitness in order to get better. There yeah, you know. yeah. I, I mean, I guess we we do yeah. more mobility and pain yeah. stuff than we do, you know, calories in, calorie out stuff. But yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. So, and, and another thing too that we can learn is uh, number one: if you are going to throw an egg at a person to get them preggers, <laughs> um, make sure it's consensual. Mm. I mean, mm. you know, mm. you know. I mean, although it didn't look that consensual, I saw. Yeah, I thought he was like sneaking up behind him. Yeah, yeah. Right, egg. Yeah, so I'm gonna egg you. My egg right up inside. <laughs> you, and like what? <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, no, like, hold on, wait, hold on. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I just got egg here. You're going to say what's wrong. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh. What's up, Kit? What's the matter? Oh, this lizard guardian deity just threw an egg at me, and now I'm pregnant with this baby. Oh, no. I know. It's what so hole's it going to come out of? I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. There you go. All right, folks. Well, great work from Cessus Dean Tetch. A great humanitarian, a great uh, sharer of wisdom. Someone who will never cross the line and do questionable material. The next time he's having a snow party, he should invite us. Yeah, right. There exactly. You go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come, come, on, come, come on, on, man. Come on, man. man. Come on, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're out of here. Right. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we are out.